One of the unique things you may have noticed if you've viewed any of these videos before is the um, somewhat interesting way that the AWR environment works together with itself. In other words, when we change things in the layout, they just magically update themselves in the schematic. Uh, tuning seems to uh, permeate the entire environment and uh, there's, a, there's a sense that things are going on behind the scenes without having to do a whole lot of, of work. Um, the magic, if you will, that makes that happen is something that uh, we call at AWR the Unified Data Model or UDM. So today what I'd like to do is demonstrate uh, at a very um, high level or in a very simplistic way how this UDM works, or how the Unified Data Model works. In nearly every other CAD tool uh, that you may have used previously, every way that you could look at the design, whether it's a schematic or a layout, um, has a separate database associated with it. And there's layers and layers of software on top of that that may be uh, necessary to give the appearance of automation. Uh, one fine example of this is schematic driven layout where we generate objects in the layout based on parameters in the schematic and essentially what's happening is an extra layer of software is added to read the parametric information on the schematic and then drive the layout generators in the layout. Uh, back annotation is another example of this. In the AWR design environment there's only one data model and all the views of the design, the schematic, the layout, the simulation results, uh, whether it's circuit or system level analysis, all look at that same data model and whenever it changes they test to see whether they should update themselves. So let's uh, explore what this means by just creating a very simple circuit schematic here and at the same time we're going to open up its layout window so that we can look at both at the same time and we'll tile them. Uh, now if I start putting down some elements in the uh, in the schematic we can see that instantaneously the layout uh, updates itself as soon as we make that addition to the data model through the schematic view here, the layout view updates itself. So let's try to put together a rather simplistic schematic just so we can uh, explore this a little bit more. And I'm going to use the MTX dollar sign part. If you're not familiar with the uh, X parts or the dollar sign parts, I recommend that you go and uh, look at uh, the information we have on the website about that. Um, additionally, there's uh, information in the documentation about that that may be of interest to you that uh, would be helpful in understanding those parts better. But here we have a very simple T diagram and you can see that as I was adding each element of the T, uh, the, the uh, design was updating itself. Now let's um, put some ports on this and we can set up a simulation. Okay, there we go, we have our ports and now let's go and add a, a graph very quickly and we'll just do some S parameters on this design. Okay. And we can simulate. And of course now we get a simulation error. And the reason for this is we forgot the M sub. Um, one of the other nice things about the unified data model is that I can now go back to the schematic and because um, this is just a view of the database it knows instantly what the problem is and we can very easily rectify it by selecting any one of the microstrip elements and telling the environment to add an appropriate substrate definition for that element. So now when we re-simulate we get uh, a response for S11 as we would expect. Now let's go in and, and look at another level of how the unified data model works by enabling some tuning and uh, let's just tune on the stub here in terms of width and length and we're going to focus um, not on the schematic uh, right now, but we're going to look at the uh, the graph and the layout window and we're going to look at how um, as we reach down through the tuner to modify the environment how the uh, how things are going to interplay here. So let's bring up the tuner and we'll bring up our graph window again and I'll move the tuner over here and we can see I'm going to hold down the control key which is going to allow us to update the layout in real time and as I make the length longer and shorter you can see my graphics card isn't the greatest and I'm sure the uh, recording software isn't helping at all but you can see that the layout is updating simultaneously with the graph now this is not because there's layers and layers of software that are constantly changing the value in the schematic window here and then re-netlisting and re-simulating and, and oh by the way having to go back and update the layout no what, what's happening here is the unified data model or the database for this project is being actively changed by the variable tuner and all the other windows are watching that so the minute that the variable tuner makes a change to the length of this 
The uh, layout is attempting to update itself by redrawing all the graphics, regenerating all the uh, elements, displaying them on the uh, in the graphic window for the layout. The simulator is seeing that its its uh, data elements that it has the simulator changing, so it automatically reruns itself. The graph sees that the simulator it's attached to has updated, so it reruns itself. And this is fairly uh, a fairly good description of how the unified data model itself works. In any one of the views of the design, we can reach down into the data model through that view and manipulate the data model, and then the other views will just update themselves either automatically or at the appropriate time based on the different analyses or simulations that we're doing. So in a nutshell, this is the unified data model. Again, if you have more questions about the unified data model, uh, the X models, the dollar sign models, or any of the features, um, that you've seen here today, uh, go to the website, uh, view additional videos, uh, or download white papers, or some of the documentation, uh, or if you'd like, contact your AWR sales professional.